I was reading the British Medical Journal, uh, as I do, this morning, and I came across a really interesting article that uh, I thought uh, you might be interested in as well. Uh, and it was uh, really about uh, whether one should take medication in order to improve your bone density. Uh, this is something that, as chiropractors, we're really interested in um, because obviously we deal with people's bones and so on. Um, and uh, we're quite often suggesting to our patients that they have their bone density measured with a bone density scan. Now, uh, this um, chap, Yarvinen, and his colleagues uh, in this week's British Medical Journal um, wrote an article titled Overdiagnosis of Bone Fragility in the Quest to Prevent Bone Fracture. Uh, and it's really worth reading um, because quite often we'll send uh, our patients along uh, and have a uh, DEXA scan, a dual energy x-ray absorption scan of their uh, hip and of their spine to see whether they have uh, osteoporosis um, or a condition called osteopenia, which is a kind of milder version of osteoporosis. And um, we, we mostly send, uh, send our patients to the Nuffield um, in Oxford and um, it's a very low um, exposure of x-ray and you can see in the picture here um, this person's hip is, uh, has been sc uh, scanned and the, uh, the doctor is telling the, the patient that they have osteoporosis. Um, their bone density is low and uh, one of the consequences uh, nearly always uh, with a diagnosis like this uh, is that the uh, practitioner will suggest that the patient go on some medication um, which uh, you know some people are happy to take but uh, lots of people don't like taking medications. Um, there, are, there are a number of medications which are used commonly to treat osteoporosis. Uh, probably the most common is a group of medications called bisphosphonates um, and problems with taking bisphosphonates include most commonly uh, quite bad indigestion and some of you who are taking bisphosphonates will be familiar with this. Um, uh, you often have to stand uh, upright uh, after a while after taking it to uh, stop reflux and so on. Um, they do rather bizarrely increase your risk of having what's called an atypical fracture uh, and in the, uh, the leg it's actually a fracture sort of below the, um, the greater trochanter in the, uh, um, the shaft of the femur which is kind of unusual but they can increase your uh, chances of having that type of fracture which is a bit bizarre if you're trying to prevent uh, bone fractures. Uh, they can cause osteonecrosis uh, in the jaw which is where you tend to lose bone density uh, in the jaw. Again rather a bizarre feature of a medication that you're taking to increase your bone density. And there are a couple of other medications that are commonly taken, strontium ranolate um, uh, and calcium and vitamin D. Probably calcium and vitamin D are taken um, more commonly. Um, but both of these um, medications increase your risk of having um, cardiovascular problems, including strokes, um, which obviously is a, is a massive, uh, massive problem. And um, yeah, in fact, I, I saw a patient recently who had had a stroke and it was, it was thought, I think, that... Um, you know, the, the strontium that she'd been taking was possibly a, a factor in that. So, um, so you know, the, these are obviously um, yeah, bad news, these, uh, these side effects. And, um, you know, these are medications that are being given often to people to try and prevent problems. Uh, in other words, you know, things like hip fractures. Um, they're not actually given uh, in the treatment of those conditions. They're, they're kind of taken because we're trying to uh, predict what might happen in the future and tip the, um, the scales in the patient's favour. Um, but it seems that maybe taking a bone density scan isn't necessarily uh, the best way of, of predicting a, um, a hip fracture. Um, it seems that if, um, if a patient has impaired balance, um, that, that that is actually a, a much bigger predictor of, of hip fracture. In fact, um, the question, do you have impaired balance, um, can predict pretty much 40% of all um, future hip fractures, um, whereas doing someone's bone density with a DEXA scan uh, and seeing osteoporosis um, present in, on, in the patient will only predict, well, less than 30% of, uh, of future hip fractures. So, so it may be that we're, we're sort of going down the wrong track in terms of um, trying to predict the future, and maybe we should be having a look at patients more functionally, which of course is uh, 
his you know chiropractor's forte really um, another problem with with measuring someone's bone density and giving them a label of osteoporosis uh, is that you know psychologically it can be it can be damaging because it can actually have a, a negative influence on on people's activities and so people might decide that they're not going to do some things because they're worried about uh, breaking their bones so actually giving someone a diagnostic label can sometimes in itself um, have a quite a negative effect um, on their bone density because if people stop doing things because they're worried about breaking uh, a bone actually that tends to make their bones weaker so that that can be a problem um, but there are there are some truths which which still you know um, hold to be the case three three main things to that you know we can do to keep our bone density uh, as good as possible uh, the most um, the biggest one is to stop smoking so uh, um, you know that has a massive um, uh, effect on on reducing your your future fracture risk uh, remaining active is important so um, you know when people um, can keep exercising and, and doing all sorts of uh, classes and sports and uh, weight bearing exercises that's that's really good and also to, to eat well um, eating a good uh, balanced diet with uh, with plenty of um, good nutrition in it is going to be uh, really helpful so so there we go um, I'm not telling you that you shouldn't take medication for you for your bone density issues uh, I've sent lots of patients for bone density scans and and they're on medications to try and help their bone density and that's still maybe the best uh, thing to do um, but it's it's something that's worth reflecting on um, and um, I'll give you the link to the article um, in, uh, in in the, in the website so that you can you can click through and have a read of it yourself and make your own judgment um, and discuss it with whoever's prescribed medication for you if you're on medication um, but um, yeah maybe maybe the future management of uh, osteoporosis is going to going to change who uh, who knows um, anyway we're here for you and we're interested in the whole of you that's uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, I like to look at things like osteoporosis and the management uh, of it um, this is Abingdon Chiropractic Clinic you know how to get hold of us uh, and we look forward to helping you have the best health you can so thanks for listening